Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about how to move any control from left to right and right to left. So for this we need to take uh, two control. So first is lever. So directly I am going to search. So I add a banging level control. Now hereafter I am going to take one timer control. So two control required. If you want then you can change the name of level control. So let's go to timer control double click. So this is the uh, tick event of timer control. So inside I am going to write uh, or level dot to text. So at here giving the text name C sub programming. And uh, here after adding the size of level, so we need to write at your font. So at your want the font, get and set the font text display by the control. Now enter here after let's write near and here font. So this is a space and here you can give the size suitable size at here and here font as time so I'm going to give at here a strike out or you can add any other as time so you have to write font as time dot so set in your word now here after let's start the timer and here going to give the timer interval one second and here we need to start the timer so let's call the start method so this is the code that run in timer now here after let's go and click in form so this is the open form load event and here in load event I did one mistake. The mistake is we need to write this code inside the load event. And here I'm going to write the code in level level dot set bonds. So first is C X Y width height. So here I have to take global variable x and y so this point going to initialize global variable int x initializing with 255 y initializing with 1 now here you can write x y and width and height both are same now here after x gonna increase by 1 and here taking if statement so x when the value of x greater than equal to 800 so if this condition is true then x become 1 so this is the code to move any control left to right so let's execute and check so see at here c program c sub program it's moving from left to right So here it is C our programming. So this text it's uh, displaying, and here the size 25, and uh, here since I've given the or 
point is tied as strike out so that here yeah, it's a displaying a strike out. So if you don't want a strike out, so you need to do right here only remove a strike out because it's a not looking good. And uh, here I'm going to give the size 22 and here I'm going to give this of tutorial to your T O. Now let's uh, execute. So this our tutorial a strike out here it's moving from left to right. So when x value x value initialized at your 255. So when 255 and that increase. So at your 255 greater than 800. So this condition is not true. So when the x value uh, become 800 so this condition is true so x become 1 again again that is start and here yeah, x y this is width and height and this is set points and here yeah, x x initialized with 1 and y initialized with x initialized with 255 1 y initialized with 1 and here after one more thing if you want if you want to move this control to right to left so for this we need to change at here at here going to give 255 y equal to 1 and here oh, x minus minus x gonna decrease and here giving um, condition x less than equal to 1 and here when x so at you giving the value for entry so by using this the control move to right to left execute so see at here it's moving from uh, right to left again it's come And here, let's give 460. Then that cover full press, full window press. So C sharp here. Now that is start from here. If you give uh, something like 500, then So it's a start from here, middle. No, it's a start from here. So according to X and Y, the position of uh, moving control that change. So this is the way we can move uh, any control from uh, left to right and right to left. So this time I have taken uh, at a level control. You should try with any other control. The output will be same. And now in this video it's over. So if you have any question or any query about this video, leave a comment. Definitely I will reply. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.